Passage of Water is a project in collaboration with artist Yoon Kang and our partner NASA. And it's a project that is an artwork that aims to tell the story about fresh water availability through satellite data from NASA and then tell it through storytelling and visuals that basically aim to touch the broader public at every level of society really. Bringing fresh water as a topic within COP is also a way of connecting the conversations happening behind closed doors and also the broader public and what people are really going through in the real world. When you come inside the experience, it's a big dark room with projection mapping and you step onto a platform with beautiful visuals and you interact with the, um, with the project and the artwork takes you through three different parts. The intro is about the water budget and how much we actually have on Earth. And uh, I didn't know until this project, but uh, the Earth is made up of 71% of water, but only 3.5% of that water is actually fresh water that we can use. And then you're taken to the data satellites. Um, and that satellite data then shows you how much water we've lost versus how much we gain. And so how much that water cycle, the hydrology cycle, has been damaged by climate change and also overuse by human activity. And then we look at solutions because we can't stop there. We need to also bring hope. My artistic vision is to translate the data because data doesn't speak for itself, but maybe perhaps art can help to do that. What I really wanted to do is make it relatable. So that's the reason why I make it fully navigational. People can zoom in, zoom out, like moving it, retaining it so, so that people can feel about it, understand about it. So that is what we have done to our earth, to our fresh water. This um, partnership with Google really focuses on two satellites. Uh, one is uh, the GRACE and GRACE follow-on set of satellites. Those are long acronyms. We like our acronyms at NASA, but they've been measuring for about two decades now, collecting information about water. Our more recent one, the Surface Water and Ocean Topography Satellite, or SWAT, has been collecting for almost exactly a year. So we launched on December 16th of last year. Um, and this data has been ongoing. We continue to collect it to really monitor how water is moving around the world. This type of installation and this partnership is so powerful just to see the data and have it be delivered in a way that is so accessible and meaningful to people. That's really something that's very hard to do as a scientist. I always struggle with that. How do I really get people to understand what we're doing? Um, but opportunities like this and the, the way that it's visualized I think is really impactful.